Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honor Duck and we are playing the Great Whale Road. We're playing the Franks that have been newly added in the last update just a couple of days ago. And uh, we're gonna go on our first journey. Last time we met all the people in our warband. Ah, come on, don't show me that again. Um, still not happy with the saving system uh, in the game, but the combat has been much improved uh, since I played it in early access. Um, just. I would like to be able to manually save. That would just be good. Um, uh, at least for me, um, creating those, uh, creating these episodes, because I can't always um, end at a point where we can save or where the game has been saved. But yeah, so we want to escort um, load away a fellow monk to the Frisian city of Whitler. Uh, we're going to use that to also trade some stuff. So before we leave on a journey, we need to make preparations. Um, we need to take our heroes. We need some provisions and trading goods. And then we're going to begin our journey. So um, we're going to be on the uh, traveling for 16 days. We have a daily food consumption of one. So I guess we should take at least 32 food, um, maybe a little bit more so that we can go there and get back. Um, yeah, he wants to, to secretly, quietly convert the townsfolk of the Frisians. Um, with our guy over here, <coughs> who do we take? I think taking a ranged person is good. Um, we already have a support character, so I don't think we're going to take that support guy. We just have three heavies now. Um, light hunting spear, hunting spear, hunting spear. I guess we're going to take these guys. Wolu we'll Trather the Blind. <laughs> okay, he is, he is in a really bad mood. He is in a better mood. Interesting. She's in a really good mood. I think I should actually take him with me for now. Hilperic Salt Breath. <laughs> All right, then. Let's confirm that. Um, then we got to load goods. So what did I say? We need at least 32 food. Like, nah, let's make it 40. And uh, that leaves us only 60 as a rest. So let's, let's take the wine. That's definitely a trade good that we just want to get rid of. And then take gods or saints with you on a journey or just keep them at your home for a blessing. Now we're going to take it all. Just try to sell it. Uh, we need to take some tools with us. Um, if our ship gets um, damaged or something. Let's take the horn comb with us. Made from reindeer um, or elk antlers. Hmm... The the rest of the stuff I probably shouldn't take since we're gonna need them to upgrade different stuff in our in our place. So I guess I'm gonna, just gonna take those. Um, I think we're gonna need rope and tools to upgrade our ship. Um, is that all? Is that all that we need? Uh, I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, this is what this is what we're gonna take. I guess we're gonna take more food, and then we're just gonna we're just gonna sell it if push comes to shove. But yeah, so let's go. Um, trading goods seventeen, food sixty six. We got some some tools. Uh, I guess we're just gonna sell the food at this point. Let's go begin the journey. Looking good. That's the first chapter. Abbas Giselberta asks you to escort Lodewer to Whitler. The journey is long and treacherous, and the monastery has supplied you with whatever arms you need. She knows you have trained in the arts of self-defense and trusts you to guide the brother safely. Lodewer could be um, the German name Ludwig. Maybe, maybe they are um, related. Okay. Let's go! Um, when you're going on a quest, your resources are related to what you are carrying on your ship. Now let's see, your heroes will gradually consume food, lose adventure stats yeah, until we rest. Um, ship will take damage, we need to repair it, and from time to time we can actually stop. Yeah, that looks that looks really nice. Theodobald asks you to stop at a small village. He's heard of a hunter there who sells fine aurochs hides, and he wants to buy one for Wuldutrada. We have time, the weather has treated us well. Okay then. Um, yeah, why not? Why not? 
He thanks you profusely. Walter Trotter is the only person in the village who still treats him with respect. And he likes to show his appreciation and admiration. Alright then. Is that the dude who... Who lost the jewel? Okay, yeah, you can see that uh, people lost um, some stamina, some endurance, since we're just moving forward. Journals. Oh yeah, we can we can visit uh, Bruges, yeah. Bruges, I guess. Okay, Frankish Marsh. That's still in Frank, yeah. At least at this at this point, it's in Belgium today. Okay, they also have the the Roman uh, streets. Now we can go hunting if we want to top off our food supplies or do stuff. We can set people to send people to sleep if they want to. We can also go drinking in the tavern or trade some stuff. Uh, what does the blacksmith have? Maybe they have something that I want. Warrior coat, wolf coat. Man, that is all super expensive. Rune oak spear. Hmm, nice. What can our guy take? Hmm. They have nothing for our for our monk. Alright then. I mm, guess that's fair. What does the trader have? These guys wanna pay eighty for this thing, which is worth a hundred. Um twelve for a thing of fifteen. They're really keen on the wine though. They're like paying six. No, they're paying nine for a wine that has six value. That's pretty nice. I think we're going to do that. Give us 72 bucks. That's good. Um, we have some food. They're only going to pay one for the for the food. They're not paying a lot for that. Um, they're paying a little bit of a above price for this. Now, what are they what are they producing in here? Livestock. They have four livestock. They have some some jewelry. Are they selling anything? That's good for us. Crystal. Hmm. And selling some iron. We could probably take the iron. I'm looking for things to upgrade our ship with. Hmm. Some whalebone. Oh, they're actually selling that cheaper than what it costs. I'm going to buy that. Make some trading profit there. This is very expensive here. I don't want to buy that. Um, yeah, I think we're I think we're pretty much done trading. So we're gonna pay eighteen. <laughs> okay then. That's confirmed. Ship doesn't have enough space. Really? No, we're fine. No, we're fine. We're fine. We don't. We don't need that. Uh, it's just when I when I go over the livestock. Ship doesn't have enough space. I guess we can not buy more livestock. Would actually be kind of nice to take some maybe on the way back. Okay. Um, anything else? I mean, I could go to the tavern. Um, no one needs healing. We could also send some people to just go hunting. But we're already almost filled to the brim with food. So I guess we don't need that. Let's see what the tavern does. Fresh air and friendly companion. Company to perk up the most weary warriors. Drink and listen to sagas and rumors. Um, this is costly. We don't need our main guy doing that since he's already fine. But these guys definitely gonna profit from it. Um, so confirm that. We lost nine silver for that. I think our main guy is actually gonna go and hunt. I'm gonna get a little bit out of it. Three to eight food. Let's go. I'm gonna stay overnight. Okay, we gained five food. We lost one food. I guess because we're eating. Uh, we lost a little bit of money. We've got a healer, but we don't need the healer. Oh yeah, he's <laughs> he's kind of tired now. That's not great. Um, still, we're gonna we're gonna move on. I don't think the the stuff that they're setting has changed. No, it hasn't. Oh, we got some pelts though. What are they paying for the pelts? Oh, I mean, it has a value of eight, and they're only paying six for it. Yeah, that's not great. We're gonna move on. Set sail. Why are we sailing during the night? Couldn't we have, like, slept until the morning? That's weird.
Okay, we're losing the food. Dubenberg. I mean, it doesn't hurt to visit, right? I think Duvenbur is the place um, of the Frisians. Frisian stronghold. I think you can play the Frisians of Duvenbur. Burr is always um, the name of a fortification. Right, what are you guys selling? What are you guys selling? They are selling... Ooh, they're selling tools on the cheap. I think we should buy those tools. Um, pelts. The problem is that we don't have enough space. We don't have enough space for this kind of stuff. They're selling silk. I really want the tools. Maybe we can just take them on the way back. Oh, they're also selling thralls. Can be taken and sold anywhere along the coast. Yeah, we don't have enough space for that. Mm, weight 3, weight 1, which is, I guess, what takes all that much space. Um, the whalebone is also pretty big. I don't think I can sell anything here with, with profit. I could just try to buy three more tools and just leave it at that, I guess. No! Man, these guys really want some food. So, tell you what, we're actually gonna... We're gonna sell some of that. Like, we're gonna make a bunch of money here. So, I mean, even 31 is still enough. Um, way more than enough, actually. So, let's say, maybe... Yeah, something like that. One more. So, we're gonna keep 25. Um, and for that, we actually pull all the tools that they have. Um, yeah, good. 70. No, that's fine. 70 of 100. We're gonna pay 154 for that. So we're exchanging food for tools. I think that's a really good trade. We're still gonna gain 10 additional. All right. They're really keen on the food. Like, I guess they must be starving then. Hmm. Maybe even give them a little more. Like, yeah, we take that, we take that. Confirm. Right, we can always go hunting if we need to. We can send everyone to hunt. Um, don't want to stay overnight. Most of these guys are still fine. Um, uh, let's see what the blacksmith has. Thick warrior coat. Um, the old shepherd sling. It's not great. Like, what do you currently have? Two to three, one to two. Okay, it does do more damage. And more critical damage as well. It's a hundred bucks, though. I think we're going to keep that for um, the settlement, to be quite honest. I mean, we could go more hunting. Mm. If I send everyone hunting, we're going to be earning a lot of food. We don't have a dog. Apparently, a dog would be useful for this kind of thing. Everyone is going to be a little bit tired. The problem is that he won't be able to do anything here. Just pull him out. And actually send him to sleep. Hmm. I don't know. No, we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna move on. We're just gonna move on. The wind is changing and pushing you towards the coast. Um. I'm gonna keep sailing, take away from the coast if necessary. That should work. You make good speed. Yay! <laughs> if you row away, it actually um, fatigues your guys pretty heavily. Okay, we're losing some food. It's still fine. It's all right. It's all right. Day 193. Lost more food. I mean, we could. Oh, and win in Antwerp. Let's visit Antwerp. Let's see what they have. It would be kind of nice if we could bring a lot of tools back home so that we can upgrade our ship. Mmm, that is a really big city. Like, that looks nice. Okay, what do these guys have? Let's talk with the trader. It's nice that he's trading during the night with me. Okay, he's selling ceramics and he's selling them on the cheap. That's good. 
Um, are they willing to pay anything for my stuff? No. They're not interested in that. I can buy wine on the cheap, too. Um, that looks good. Uh, what ceramics? It's not Frisian. I think it's Saxon. Well, let's buy the ceramics. I'm hoping that we can actually... Um, sell those for more money. And I guess we can also buy some more wine. Let's just fill the ship to the brim with that kind of stuff. Or oh, do these guys also have cheap tools? Yeah, man, they have super cheap tools. Like... Uh, right, I can't afford that, though. <laughs> I cannot afford that. Nah. I am going to buy more wine, though. 127. Oh, I don't have that much money. Righty. Okay, then. Mm. A pelt, maybe? Nah, I'm just gonna buy one less wine. 122. We have no money left after this. I think that's fine. Okay. That's alright. We're gonna arrive there, fill to the brim with trading goods. It's gonna be great. Um, I hope. Okay, let's set sail. People aren't all that tired, so we can just move. I probably didn't need to rest in that first place. Mm-hmm. Going through our food supplies. That's all right. Um, should it show us somewhere how close we are? Oh, there's a campfire. Um... I guess we could visit the campfire and just... Sleep a night where we don't have to pay for it. I mean, you can get attacked, I think, um, at these campfires, but... Oh, well. Alright, um, so, looks to me like he's he needs some sleep. Um, um, the other guys are gonna go hunting. Although we cannot carry all that much. Like, maybe we're just gonna send her... Yeah, send the other two to sleep, because they're actually in a bad mood as well. Um. Yes, why not? Let's stay overnight. Okay, we've got some loot. Uh, we can't even take everything. Alright, yeah, that was kind of a waste. Ah, oh, come on! You could have eaten that food before you uh, forced me to leave the other stuff behind. That's shitty. Oh well then. Guess I'm traveling with idiots. Oh, I can't carry all that food. Guess I'm gonna throw something away. And now, something to eat. She is pushing the ship towards the coast with all her might. The incoming tide is driving you towards a reef. Oh no, the horror of a lee shore. We gotta row. Come on. The crew is tired, but the ship is safe. Yes. Okay, that made these guys pretty tired. Not good. Okay, losing food. And we're in Whittler. I don't have to actually choose this. A market in the marsh. Let's hope that <laughs> my plan actually pays off and I can sell my stuff at outrageous prices. For outrageous prices. Okay. A garish shrine to the war goddess Baduhenna is erected on the beach outside of this village. The sight of the blood-stained slab of rocks turns your stomach. Lodewey says your people, the followers of the Christ, must be like a vine planted beneath a high wall, growing high and strong and subtly crumbling the mortar. <laughs> yes, or maybe not so subtly, slaughtering all the heathens like, like they did in history. Like uh, Charlemagne killed tens of thousands of Saxons just because they prayed to their own god. Okay, when you're in another location such as camp or settlement, you'll be able to do some of the following. I don't know that already. Why are you telling me that now? I guess because they can't know if I actually visited other places um, in the meantime. 
Uh, it doesn't look to me like I can do anything in here until I don't go ahead with this. All right, then. You sail under the banners of the Franks and the five wounds of the Christ. Your allegiance does not go unnoticed. When you land upon the shore, you're greeted by warriors wearing thick silver armbands. He says we should avoid a fight if we can. The abbess armed us for a reason. If they call for a fight, we will answer. Um, ours is a mission of peace. I'm a, I'm a monk. I gotta I gotta go with that. Lodaway steps forward and addresses the warriors, assuring them of your good and honorable intentions. He says he is an advisor and a friend, and he hopes to work with Witless Chieftain. They hesitate, but they sheath their weapons. They will let you see the chieftain, though they will watch you carefully. Okay. Kind of a bad idea to start a diplomatic um, mission with killing the locals. Next to your monastery, the chieftain's hall does not seem larger or cleaner than a pigsty. You're careful not to touch anything as you approach the chieftain's roughly carpentered throne. The chieftain is a man far past his prime with deep grooves carved into his face. Why have you come to Whitler, Franks? Franks! He spits the last word. Mm, come in friendship to recommend my brother the cloth to you. Or should we just say we came to help? Ah, well, let's do that. He studies load away for a moment. He does not seem impressed. Then he turns to you. Before I accept your help, I want to know that you aren't a pack of whelps. There's a group of raiders that have been thieving and killing since Yule Teed. Um, they're set up just outside Lagathon. Convince them to leave and your priest can stay. Okay, I can convince them, I guess, by bashing their head in. That's probably how it's gonna go. Trader. Hmm. Oh, man. We're getting really bad value for this kind of stuff. Come on, I was banking on being able to sell this stuff for a high price, and instead, it's like... I mean, maybe the prices will become better if I if I do something good for them. Maybe, th maybe that's how it goes. Uh, right. Um, so, new destination, journal, trading goods. I guess it's the map that we need. Campfire, Lagathon. Hmm. Can I just can I just travel to places? Seven days approximately, 111 miles. An ancient fortified camp, seat of a Frankish dux. Kind of nice that I can see all the trade goods that they have. That's good. That's really good. Hmm. Okay, I guess we gotta sail over here and kick the butt of these guys. The question is. Um, will I get new trade goods? And the answer is probably yes. It's probably yes. Yeah, they're selling the whalebone. Uh, this is not cheap. Origin is Danish, Danish apparently. This is also Danish. Hmm, a small Frisian marketplace. Yeah, I guess it was to be expected that they didn't have all that much money for this kind of thing. Hmm. What is the blacksmith selling? Uh, just slings. Everyone is just selling slings. That's a shame. I would like to buy something else, but I guess I can't. Hmm. I have never seen a higher price for these kinds of things. So we're just going to sell those so that we have a little bit of money. These guys are very expensive, those tools. Salt is cheap, on the other hand. What would life be without a salt? I think we need some salt for upgrading some things. If I remember correctly, so maybe we just buy some salt. Yeah, I'm gonna do that on the on the way home. But yeah, let's sell our relics, and uh, then we're just gonna move up here. Oh, well, that that doesn't work. All right then. Um, how's that? How's that supposed to work? How is that supposed to work? I mean, we're here. Set the journey. Close the map. Hmm, I can't set sail, so I guess we're going to stay overnight. Um, send her. 
to sleep. Because I might just send everyone to sleep. So that they're all rested. Stay overnight. At least we're not paying anything. Okay, I guess we had to stay the night to do anything. Set sail. Journal. We're already here. I hope we're traveling to the correct place. Minus one food. Where are we on the map? What? No! Why are we... God damn it. Why is that... Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm not getting this. I'm not getting this. I'm totally on the wrong track. Like, yeah, we're going to visit the campfire. Uh, maybe I can actually change course. Like, this is this is not a thing. I didn't want to go to the campfire at all. <laughs> yeah, typical let's play. Watch the let's player struggle with the controls. Can we I mean, can we can we not? Can we just go here instead of traveling randomly across the space? Um, we already were there. Why are we why are we um traveling through bumfuck nowhere? What what's this? What's this? Okay then. I guess we're just gonna set sail randomly to one place or another. Okay, yeah, let's visit Dorestad. Which should be a bigger place. The market of the world. Alright then. Alright then. I could probably sold my relics over here. Not too happy with the amount of control that I have. Like, at least show me where we're going next. Instead of just randomly sailing off in different directions. So what does that do? Oh, I can buy hunting dogs in here. Lead, spices, seeds, dyes and tools. This is the main trading hub that connects the North and Middle Seas and Byzantium. Okay, so prices should be good here. Alright. Well, no, prices are shitty. Prices are definitely shitty. <laughs> Why? Come on! I mean, we're gonna make a little bit of profit on the wine. We're gonna make one profit there. But it's not like this is amazing. Hmm. Alright, I don't want to buy a dog. I don't think we need that. Seeds. You need seeds if you want to expand your farming land. Oats and barley are the stable staples. Yeah, we should probably we should probably buy some seeds. We should probably buy some seeds. It would be kinda nice to um know how we can upgrade things. Like, how many seeds do I need to buy? All of them? 15? They're very heavy. I really should buy some tools as well. I guess I'm just gonna get rid of stuffs. Um, I mean, those horn combs. I just pick them up. We're also almost out of food. Hmm. Let's sell the comb. I still have a crap ton of ceramics, but I guess I'm not going to get any money for that. Yeah, let's confirm that. Alright then, anything else to do in here? Doesn't look like it, so I guess we're just going to sort off and uh, move forward. Set sail. To wherever. Just set sail to wherever. It's fine. A fight has broken out. You intervene and ask what started the brawl. The sailors were arguing over whether the Isle of the Blessed truly exists. They look to you for the answer. Since it was discovered by a monk, you should know. Hmm. It could be true. Who is to say? Alright. Sailors who argued that side looked pleased, but the others rolled their eyes. That night, the crew tell stories of Voyager monks and the sea monsters and isles they found. Stories get more ridiculous and dribbled as the night goes on, but the crew is happy. 
Okay, everyone gets a bunch of morale. Good, I guess. <laughs> Losing more food? We're in Mars now. Okay, let's visit that one. Why not? Maybe we can make a quick buck. That's the front line. Front line of what? Are we fighting anyone? Oh, look. Roman temple. That's nice. Um... I guess we're gonna sneak there from the from the back. What is Mars now? The Frisians and the Franks both claim this old Roman fort as their own. Alrighty. Oh, they're selling rope. I want rope. I want rope to upgrade my ship. Very good. Very good. Hello. Um, let's trade. I am willing to sell some of my things. And we're gonna still make a profit, I think, with the whalebone. Only just though. I'm setting this slightly above value. I think I need 10 rope or something. Which is not great. Ceramics. They're still not buying that for the proper value. I think I bought that for 5 and I'm setting it for 5. I'm not too happy about that. Hmm. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. And we're gonna buy some rope. As much as they have, really. Oh, that's actually very heavy. Okay, let's get six of that rope. Hmm. Maybe get rid of some more ceramics. I really wanna... Yeah, let's get rid of 12 here. Get the rest of the rope. Because we're gonna need that to upgrade our ship. That's for sure. Okay, confirm. Ship doesn't have enough space. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Let's go then. Let's go then. I don't think we need anything else here. Uh, but I guess I'm going to end the episode here. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing. Um, I do hope that you join me next time. We'll try to make our roundabout way over here to Lagathon. Um, bring some much needed reason to the place and then deliver our friend back in Whitler. And then hopefully we'll be able to actually upgrade our um, our ship and our town uh, with the stuff that, uh, that we bought. So yeah, hope you join me next time. Thanks. Bye bye.